Welcome to Ladies on the Green, the best women's golf station. Meet the women changing the game of golf. Our most recent film features exceptional female golfers who are breaking preconceptions and changing the sport. These women are influencing change both on and off the course, from groundbreaking pros to enthusiastic amateurs. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe and become a part of our thriving community of golf fans. You'll never miss an update if you subscribe, and you'll be helping women in golf. Now, let's begin this fantastic path of empowerment and golf brilliance. Number 1. Laura Davis It's difficult to put Davis' longevity into context, but she was a member of the GB and I Curtis Cup team in 1984 and is still doing well today. There have been 87 professional victories since then, including four majors. She played on the first 12 European teams, beginning with the first Solheim Cup, and is now content to be an assistant, declaring repeatedly that she would never seek the captain's post, except for 2005. She won at least one championship somewhere across the world from 1985 to 2010, and she was the first golfer, male or female, to win on five continents in a single year. In 2004, she competed on the men's European circuit, and in 2018, she became Europe's first woman to compete on the men's senior circuit. Davis is an absolute anomaly. She swings the club her way, she frequently hits the driver off a clump of soil, and she prefers betting to perfecting her putting. She was made a dame in 2014, and she is an honorary member of the Royal and Ancient Golf Club of SD Andrews, as well as a member of the World Golf Hall of Fame. But she hasn't changed one bit, while her most notable triumph was undoubtedly the 1987 US Women's Open. It was another that best summed her up. Davis was penalized for watching England vs. Spain in the European Championship football match on a portable TV during the final round of the 1996 Evian Masters, which she won by four strokes. Number 2. Nikki Wright Nikki Wright, a golfer, was well known for a powerful swing. Over eight years, she won 13 majors, second only to Patty Bird, with five victories by five strokes or more. Many golfers, including Sam Snead, Jack Nicklaus, and Arnold Palmer, thought Wright's swing was the greatest. She won 13 times in 1963 and won for 14 years in a row on tour. Wright's sponsors would drop her if she didn't play, but she always did. She resigned at the age of 34 owing to an allergy to sunshine and flying, as well as foot difficulties. Despite these difficulties, Wright continued to play and hit balls in her backyard in Florida. Wright was a perfectionist rather than a tough competitor. She practiced for hours, beating balls over and over again, concentrating on swinging the club rather than turning or anchoring her feet. The second best feeling, she thought, was hitting a high two iron into a well-trapped green. Number 3. Babe Zaharias Mildred, Babe, Didrix and Zaharias didn't start playing golf until she was 21 years old. She had won three U.S. Women's Opens and helped form the LPGA, and her final seven wins came after being diagnosed with cancer and having a colostomy. She died at the age of 45. She won gold medals in the javelin and the 80-meter hurdles in the 1932 Olympics before taking up the sport, and she would have won the high jump if she hadn't been disqualified. She was also quite good at basketball and baseball. The Associated Press named her the finest female athlete of the first half of the 20th century in 1949. She finished the Grand Slam of the three women's majors in 1950. Of her 11 major victories, three of which came as an amateur, her final one in the 1954 U.S. Women's Open was her most memorable, coming just one month after surgery for colon cancer and while wearing a colostomy bag. Number 4. Kathy Whitworth Whitworth, a golfer, has won more LPGA Tour championships than anybody else, including PGA Tour champion Sam Snead. She opted to win the tournaments for personal reasons rather than to create a record or achieve a goal. Whitworth competed in six major tournaments and later coached the United States in the first two Solheim Cups. She was also the first woman in golf to earn $1 million, having turned pro in 1958 and attaining it in 1981. Whitworth was about to give up after earning less than $1,300 in her first 26 tournaments, but a visit to Harvey Penick saved her. Number 5. Annika Sorenstam There are other fantastic Sorenstam figures, but the amount of LPGA Tour victories may be the most notable. From 1995 through 2008, the Swede won 72 times, including a record 11 in 2002. The previous year, 
she became the first woman to reach the 60-year mark, which she still holds. Because of her stature, she was allowed to compete in a PGA Tour tournament the following year, the first time since Babe Zaharia's in 1945. On day one, Soren Stam led the field in driving accuracy and threatened to cut before falling short. She's an automaton. I've never played with anyone who didn't miss a shot, claimed her teammate Dean Wilson. Soren Stam resigned at the age of 37 to focus on raising a family, and she currently operates a variety of businesses. She competed in the U.S. Senior Women's Open last year and led from start to finish, finally winning by eight strokes, just like in the old days. Number 6. Sari Pak no Korean had ever won a major before the 1998 LPGA Championship, and Pak was the lone Korean on the circuit. We now have 34 major victories by a female Korean, and it all started with Pak. If you ask any of them where their inspiration comes from, they would most certainly say Pak. NB Park has seven major championships, the first of which she won in the 2008 US Women's Open. She began playing two days following Pak's maiden breakthrough. My parents were huge golf fans, and I had no idea why they were watching it at 3 o'clock in the morning. It was just so popular in Korea, and a lot of people took up golf as a result. Pak's career finished with 25 championships, five of which were majors, and induction into the World Golf Hall of Fame. In 2016, she was the captain of the Olympic team that won gold with NB Park. Number 7. Alice Dye the most famous of Dai's accomplishments was her participation in the creation of Sawgrass Island's 17th hole, when her husband, Pete, the course's designer, had mined so much sand from that location that he required elsewhere on the course. He ran into the problem of where to put the green. His wife recommended creating a lake and leaving an island and developed. While Dai is one of golf's most well-known course designers, it was Alice, a Curtis Cup participant, who pointed out that normal players needed to be taken into account as well. She was also renowned as the patron saint of the forward tee for her efforts in obtaining the two-tee system for ladies. They didn't do it for the glory or the fame. They just loved golf, said course builder Alan McCritch. They ate their TV dinners and had breakfast while watching and talking golf. It was all about golf. Thank you for joining us on Ladies on the Green as we explored the remarkable tales of the women who are changing the game of golf. These extraordinary people are breaking through boundaries, shattering stereotypes, and leaving their imprint on the fairways and greens. We hope their enthusiasm, devotion, and great ability have inspired you as much as they have us. To show your support for these incredible women and our channel, please press the like button, leave a comment to share your opinions, and don't forget to share this video with other golf aficionados. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to Ladies on the Green so you don't miss out on any updates on the wonderful women who are transforming the game of golf. Let us celebrate and empower women in this amazing sport together.